Hi guys, and welcome to this week's Mental Monday. wanted to continue talking about profiling and I wanted to talk about an area of it that I want to study more about myself. Um, it's a super interesting concept. I want to talk about geographical profiling. So basically geographical profiling is where the experts, I, I don't know what a title for them would actually be because I don't think just profilers do this basically is where they take the different locations of the victims and the crime scenes uh, they take where they were killed they take what area the victims lived in and create with certain like equations and everything way more advanced math than I could ever do they create a circumference of where the criminal most likely is based. So where they most likely, the area within which they most likely live. So if the victims are all pretty close together, this is easier to do and is actually possible to do geographical profiling. This would not work for like a serial killer traveling throughout the country. That, that wouldn't work. You don't have a base area to go from, but if they are all within a reasonable distance of each other, if they're all in a close enough proximity to the same general area, you can determine what the criminal's area of activity at least is, and most likely he's not venturing too far from home. It would be reasonable to expect him to be able to drive into that area if not actually live in that area. And I, I think this is something that is very case by case basis because each criminal operates differently. You're not going to have the same handling, the same travel circumstances for every single case and it might not be they're doing it close to home, but this can give you an area of operation for them and it can tell you within where you would expect them to be most of the time. This helps narrow the field of where you're looking, so it, it helps focus that and you can actually have an area you're focused on. You can have local PD in that area be on the lookout. You can focus on the different areas of interest within that surface area and maybe have some luck looking into different common places they might go, things like that. Um, you can also, if you if you have people you could talk to, they may, might recognize a profile of the person, they might be able to help more if you have a sketch of the person. Um, Things like that become a lot more usable if you have a focused area to use it in. And if you have knowledge of where that person frequents, you're coming into contact with people that are more likely to have met the person, to know the person, to have run into the person, and be more helpful in recognizing any information you have been able to find out on them. I don't actually know specific cases that this was like substantially helpful on but I know for cases like John Wayne Gacy he was pulling boys out of his own neighborhood and that becomes kind of significant to know okay it's somebody in the same neighborhood doing this it's somebody within this community doing this so we're looking within the community and so kind of the same concept but I don't I don't know that the police back then did geographical profiling in that um, I, I want to learn more about geographical profiling. I think it's super interesting and super helpful to know what area to look in, obviously, if it is a case that you're able to apply it to. Like I said, this doesn't apply to every single case because there are cases where the 
like traveling throughout the country and there's not one specific area the victims are grouped in but when they are being able to say okay within this distance surrounding those crime scenes is probably what we need to stay within it's just good knowledge to have so I will insert some more information on geographical profiling have a huge understanding of this myself that that's kind of just my base knowledge from what I've heard about it I know it's super intricate and very mathematical and probably way more complicated than I could ever do but it is still a very significant and important part of profiling so I wanted to make sure we hit on that if you have any questions about geographical profiling or if there's any part of it that you've heard of that I didn't hit on or didn't explain well enough or if I missed anything, anything like that. Leave that in the comments below if there's anything to do with it more that you would like to learn more about. Leave that in the comments below too and maybe I can do a second video on geographical profiling. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and share it with everybody. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, click the screen and subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!